guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. I hope you guys are having a great day and even better week. Today we want to talk about this guy. This brand new shoe from FootJoy, the Premier Series. I believe this is called the Field LX. I'll give you the style number if you want it. It's 54394. Um, I happened to purchase these the day they were out. I've worn them a couple times. Want to give you kind of my two cents. Uh, are they worth getting or are there better FootJoy options? So first and foremost, this is not the Buscemi or Buscemi version with the gold from the, the Players uh, Championship. This is just the uh, standard poor man's version, let's say. Um, shoe retails at $219, also has a beautiful blue version. I was torn, I went with this because I thought I could wear this with more things. Um, so let's do a real quick tour around the shoe, give you my thoughts. Um, fit all that good stuff so let's talk about how do these run size wise um, this is on the laser street last I, I believe I'm not 100% sure I'll, I'll double check why I'm doing this but I believe this is on the laser street last I in my all my foot joys <clears throat> in all my foot joys that are on the laser street last I am a nine medium I ordered these in a nine medium and they fit and they actually fit really well. So I have a narrower foot, not narrow, but narrow-ish, um, probably a D, almost C. A narrower so foot, not narrow, but narrow-ish, um, probably a D, almost C. And so I love a blue shirt style or blue shirt as some of you guys say, um, model where I can actually close this up and get a tighter fit. So I don't go to a narrow because then the whole shoe super narrow. But I love the way um, this shoe fits. So standard nine, medium width for me, no issues. I have traditions that I've worn, uh, I'd say 100 times. Um, same laser street last, fits identical. So let's talk about this shoe, what makes it so unique, different. Um, I would say this is a lot like another brand shoe that we've seen with a kind of a tuxedo look. I love this look. I love how FootJoy's rendition is a little different, a little spin. I have not seen the blue one in person. I hopefully will ordering that one at some point. Um, but again, I like the white. So it's interesting to me, I don't know what materials are on this shoe, but this is almost like a rubber. It is not leather. Um, not saying these are 100% pure leather either, um, but this is more like a rubber kind of polyurethane plastic um, ring around the shoe. So let's start from the front. Uh, it has a beautiful apron, which I absolutely love. These are more of a sophisticated looking shoe. Obviously that's what the look they were going for, but very much more sophisticated than a typical field or a typical premier foot joy shoe, in my opinion. Um, beautiful pebble grain. I'll put some pictures up um, on the apron. We spin the shoe around a little bit. Um, they call this gray. Um, I would call this more tan. Uh, maybe a taupe at best, um, this uh, outsole here, and then the nice hints of kind of a taupe is even darker brown uh, around the trim with the stitching. So love the little foot joy, very minuscule um, logo, which I absolutely love about these. If we spin this shoe around, uh, we get the little foot joy logo here. Um, has a little pull tab here in the back, which I like. When I worn this, it didn't hit my heel or Achilles, thank God, um, because this type of thing could annoy you to no end. Um, but no issues whatsoever in a couple rounds in. Um, again, we spin this guy around. No logoing, nothing on her same trim piece. The little 1925 logo here. And again, I'll put pictures up of all this stuff. Um, same trim pieces here. Really, really love the aesthetic of the shoe. Um, Let's get into the outsole and we'll talk about grip. And I've cleaned these up pretty good, so don't sue me if there's a little pieces of grass in here. So one of my compl complaints with the traditions um, a year or so ago was I wish they had this type of sole because it's just, I think, the seven or eight um, cleats and nothing else. So if you're walking on a bridge, um, and we've talked about this, or a sidewalk that's wet, the traditions are a slippery. I know now they have the uh, spikeless or soft spike version. I haven't done those yet. Um, but so I love the traction of these. Traction is a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, style is probably close to a 10 out of 10 for me. Really, really liked it. Um, 
So overall, I like the shoe. Let's get into comfort. And I think that's where a lot of guys, if I get one comment from people is, how do they feel after 18 holes? Um, all that good stuff. So I've done the other Foot Joys Pro SLX earlier in the year. Um, I really like those. This is a much more comfortable shoe out of the box. Not as comfortable as Tradition. So if I was going to give you a ranking of comfort out of the box, it goes Traditions, Premier, um, then the Pro SLX. Now over time, they all uh, somewhat even up. But I would say still, if I had to pick a shoe for comfort, the Tradition line to me, I think because the, uh, the foam they use in, in the cushion, is definitely a softer, more broken in um, from get-go. I still think the Traditions may be dollar for dollar the best shoe you can get, but I digress. So, I love the traction. I think this is a great shoe. Were my feet fatigued after walking 18 holes? Yes, I have yet to wear shoes um, that my feet aren't fatigued after 18 holes. Um, I think if there's a shoe out there that doesn't, that's incredible. But I have never worn a shoe in my life of decades and decades of golfing where I got off the course and said, Oh, my feet feel fresh as a daisy. Um, now some feel better and some feel worse, um, but really like this. So the other thing I wanna wrap up real quick, if I can get this thing out, is the Premier Dry Joe Ortholite foot footbed. Um, this is a little different series than the other ones. It's kind of on the stiffer side when you first get it. Again, uh, once you break this in, I found this to be a little softer. Again, not as soft as the tradition models. Um, again, this is, I would say, a step up in quality for sure. Um, I was originally told this style may have been a limited edition. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be here to stay. I just, th I just think FootJoy is killing it uh, in the last couple years with their shoes. Um, this. Some of the other ones with the, the blue model, uh, I think they're just doing an absolute incredible job. The other thing I wanna show you with this, I'll take a picture, it's kind of weird. So they actually have, and I'll take pictures of it to so show you guys. They have the tongue and they have um, almost like, if you ever bought a shoe that's too big and you can go to your cobbler, or probably Target or anywhere else, and they're, they're tongue pads that go underneath the shoe to kind of fill the volume. It's kind of what this cushion is. And, and why I say it's weird, um, and I'll bring this around to kind of show you guys, even though you probably see pictures of it. Um, it's a little different color. So I thought that was a little peculiar um, with Foot Joy. But overall, I'll digress on that. Overall, really like the shoes. Two-year waterproof warranty. I think they're some of the smartest looking golf shoes I've seen in a long time. I really like them. Again, I think Foot Joy has been doing a phenomenal job. Um, we'll see how these holds up. And I also be interested in, I just cleaned this with a mild detergent uh, after I wore them. We'll see how well the white holds up. I, that may be a mistake on my part. Maybe I should have gone blue. Uh, but anyway, so just wanted to bring you guys the newest Foot Joy Premier Field LX. Uh, I, I think they're one of the best looking shoes I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, comfortable. Yes, um, two year waterproof warranty. I think it's a great shoe. Uh, but again, if you haven't had a chance, check them out. Uh, they're available, I think, on F footjoy.com and everywhere else uh, for $219. So, anyway, guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, if you need anything or want anything or have any questions, let us know. Uh, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.